Welcome back to Mars Horizon, folks. We are... We headed to, Mar to Venus last time and impacted that as the second uh, space agency to do so. And now we have a mission that we... We, we have a mission slot available. Now, Mercury Orbit completes next month, but if we take a look at the research, we need to research the Mariner 8 payload as well to do that. So we ha have the long duration flight ongoing. And we could actually do the orbital v EVA. We have the research for it. But we need... Uh, we need crew for it, and our crew is going up on the long duration flight. So we'll do another mission in the meantime. We'll do a request mission, and we'll do this one where we get the adva advanced weatherproofing. Launch reliability penalty due to negative launch conditions is halved. And we get good science and um, support for it as well. So. Oh, this is a crude mission as well. Damn. Uh, let's abort. Uh, yeah, abort. We want an uncrewed mission. So let's do the Solar Observatory. It's lucrative. Very, very lucrative. Let's plan the mission for that. Uh, we, we're not in need of funding right now, but we will be. Uh, so we'll do the increased power and build that payload in three months. So both Gemini and GOES are done in three months. Okay. All right. Mercury orbit research complete. Okay. The coming probe able to withstand the searing heat of the sun and achieve orbit around the solar system's smallest planet will take the brightest minds of the agency. Yet the history contained within Mercury's cratered surface surely merits the effort. All right. Let's... Oh, we have the buildings thing. How long do we have that for? Five months more. Let's do mission control real quick because that is going to be useful. We can do an extra mission. No water on Venus. Measurements taken by a recent entry of probe have revealed that despite Venus's dense clouds, the planet lost its water long ago. The cl clouds are instead composed mostly of sulfuric acid droplets. Gained 300 science. Nice. Okay, next month. Mission control expansion research complete. And long duration flight payload is complete. So Gemini crew, uh, Gemini capsule, plus 5% payload reliability, we like that. We also have our solar, solar observatory payload complete. And we'll go ahead and design a vehicle for that. Uh, let's see, we don't have anything saved, so we'll have to design a new one. Uh, how heavy is it? 1500. So we can use the Ariane 1 or the Star. I think we'll use the Ariane 1. We don't want to use these down here. They're way more expensive and they don't need the capacity. So Ariane 1 is selected. And for the booster, we can go with the Atlas. Takes three months to build. Very reliable vessel. Costs 340,000. Or we can go with the Ariane 1, which is much cheaper. Not very reliable. Um, and also takes three months to build. We'll select the, uh, the Atlas. And we'll go ahead and... Uh, the Grandiosa, I like that. Uh, 459,000 to... And four months to build. All right. Build vehicle. Okay, so the Grandiose is complete in four months. Now, we did the mission control expansion. Um, 
Minus 20% science cost of vehicles research tree. Okay. Minus 20% cost on costs on mission research tree. Missions seem tend to be more expensive, I think. Uh, research wise. But of course there are way more vehicles than there are missions. Could also do the Hall of Fame. Increases the number of astronauts and astronaut pool by four. Or we could do the PR office and gain some more um, PR for each mission, some more support. It unlocks mission training support. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with the astronauts research. That'll take us mm, around that much time. So let's do that. Okay, we have an actual mission, the long duration flight, but we also need to build our new mission control expansion. And where does it go? Negative. Oh, here. Or here. Minor, plus 2% reward for missions, no matter what. Let's build it here. We'll also build it over here. No bonus there. No bonus there. Alright, so this is the best spot. 437,000. Build. Alright. Long duration flight. Uh, we need to design a new vehicle because I haven't saved them. Uh, opera stage... I think we'll go with the Titan II. It's cheapest. And most reliable. And yeah, Titan II. Booster, we'll go with the Atlas again. Yeah, Atlas. Select part. Five months build time, 884,000. Confirm. Build that. All right, so Grandiose is done in four months. Nemesis is done in five months, and Mission Control is done in six months. And then we have the uh, funding review. So right now we just need to continue on. And now our aeronautics research lab is done. And we don't have the bonus to buildings anymore, so we'll go ahead and start on Mariner. And we'll build the aeronautics research lab. Do we get any bonus anywhere? We get bonus here. Wow, that's expensive to build there though. But we do get a bonus of minus 2% vehicle build time. Over here, no bonus, no bonus. We would get a bonus there, but we can't really build there because there's water in the way and we can't clear that out. We're going there. That was expensive. But we are doing the... We're doing the lucrative mission, right? Yeah, the Solar Observatory. Um, yeah. It's done next month. So... That will give us our cash back. Solar Observatory Vehicle Complete. Minus 50% launch reliability penalty for suboptimal launch windows. That's nice. Uh, training will do launch reliability, I think. Uh, yes, we will. And launch date will be November. Optimal launch window. 71% launch reliability. Confirm. Go to solar system and next month. 
Long duration flight vehicle complete. Outstanding. Plus 5% payload reliability. Very good. And Solar Observatory is ready for launch. So let's launch that puppy. And weather is not looking great. Weather is not looking great. Launch day for the Grandiose, November 1966. Let's see. Bad conditions. There's a 10% risk of critical failure. I don't think we have an option but to go. Four, three, two, one. And we have ignition. And we have liftoff. Go, Grandiose, go! Don't go into a Grandiose fireball. Please. And it's going. It's going. It's going. It's good. It's good. It's not going to blow up. Yes. Very nice. And we did get a secure launch. Very nice. Ariane is now as reliable as it gets. 80%. Very good. Okay. Achieve Earth Orbit. Collect 2, 5, and 2. Uh, so that's 4, 10, and 4 for a 50% bonus. We definitely want that 50% bonus. So I think we'll start out with a visual spectrum sampling, then some ground control c uh, connection. And... An orbital realignment. Or actually infrared mapping, I think. So that gives, gets us up to a pretty decent start. Alright. Ooh, barely made it, but we made it. Alright. Ground control connection is good. And, ooh. The infrared mapping did not go well. We'll have to resist that. Okay. Now. Let's use two of our data to get two uh, comms and two nav. Then we can use three of our comms to get three data and two navs. And then we can use two of those navs, navs to get three more um, data. Yeah. So ground connect, uh, ground control connection, external sensor alignment, and infrared mapping. Let's go. All right, ground control connection is good. Ooh. The external sensor alignment sucked, but we'll resist it. And the infrared mapping is good as well. All right. Now we have two turns remaining should be able to do this. Hmm. What do we do? I think we use a data transmission to get three of or four of those. Then we do an external sensor alignment. And then we do a ground control c connection. Yeah. Confirm those commands. All right. Data transmission was good. Data received. And external sensor alignment, good as well. And so is the ground control connection. Outstanding. Okay. So really all we're missing is two... Um, 
two data. So we can do an orbital align realignment to get two nav. And then we could do some infrared mapping to get three data. And that takes us home. 50% bonus reward. And we can even recharge a power. Charge a power. So all good. And we'll go ahead and resist that. And we'll go ahead and resist that as well. Man, that last turn was horrible. Mission control goes wild. All right. 1,700, actually 2,550. Uh, or 2,550,000 we made there. That was well worth it. That was well worth it. Let's see. Crew moon landing. No one has that yet. The Mercury orbit. China has it, but not planned. Um, the orbital EVA, the Soviet Union, is launching in 10 months. I think we'll go ahead and plan the orbital EVA. We'll stick an extra astronaut in there. 423,000 it costs. Build that payload for me, please. Okay, mission control expansion is complete. So that means that we can take another mission. So nothing requested over here. Nothing requested over here. So what's requested here? Long duration flight we're doing. We could do the solar wind monitoring. We can't do this one because we need our astronauts for the orbital EVA. So solar wind monitoring it is. And we'll get some extra power for that. It's just a little bit of money. So build that. Go to solar system. And we have three missions now. Now the long duration uh, mission here or long duration flight we'll stick our three science or our three astronauts into it we have our electrician our scientist and our problem solver fortunately dinky bernard uh, bit the bullet earlier so we don't have her anymore she was a scientist too all right confirm training will be science and the launch date will be March 15th, or March, March. I keep saying 15th because it's plus 15% science. All right, select date, confirm mission setup, go to solar system. All right, we have funding review next month. Your agency's performance over the last 20 months has been reviewed and your budget has been adjusted accordingly. Plus 640 support, nowhere near enough to get us to level 9. Well, it's all good. It's all good. Alright, next month. Solar wind monitoring payload is complete. Vehicle upper state gains 3 experience levels after launch. Minus 10% launch reliability. Okay, so if we have... Uh, Actually, we will design a new because. Oh, no, we won't because we can use the tiny nerd. And that'll just cost us 67,000. Um, they'll only get the one, but that's fine. Build vehicle next month. Orbital EVA payload is complete. Vehicle part experience level reliability bonuses are doubled. Okay. Nice. Long duration flight is ready for launch. So let's do it. 80 and 81% reliability and we'll get more than 2,000 science. That is what we want to see. Ah. That is not what we want to see. Let's see. Terrible conditions. Minus 17%. We're going to reschedule. To April. 
And we have the orbital EVA. Uh, we need to design a vehicle for that. We'll use the Agena, I think. Actually, the Titan II. Titan II. It's cheapest, it's most reliable. Yep. And the booster will be the Atlas. And select that. And 884,000 and five months build time. Build vehicle. Go to solar system. Next month. Okay, solar wind monocultoring vehicle complete. Optimal and suboptimal launch windows are reversed. Okay. Long duration flight is go for launch. Let's see. Nice science reward. No rain, please. No rain, thank you. All right. Let's see, Nemesis. April 1967, long duration flight. And we have good conditions, plus 8%, very nice. Only a 3% risk of critical failure. Let's go. Three, two, one. And ignition. And lift off. Clear the launch pad tower and go 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 my three braves astronauts go 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 don't blow up you didn't blow up good job and we get oh, so close to the positive event but it's fine the titan gets a bit of experience gets more reliable and long duration flight april 1967 Achieve Earth Orbit, collect 776, and we have our crew, of course, as a resource. So it's 13, 14, 14. Jesus. All right. Well, we'll do the manual data collection, and then we'll conduct some experiments. Then... We'll do a ground control connection test. And do some external sensor alignment. Let's confirm those. We are very reliable, so we should be able to do this. No problem. Of course, I opened my big mouth. Uh, resist that. And ground control connection is good. And external sensor alignment is good. All right, we're off to a start. Let's do these two again. Then we can do the ground control connection again. And then we can do a data transmission. Confirm that. All right, accept. And experiments are good. Ground control connection is very good. We get an extra data, very nice. And our data transmission goes through without a hitch. All right, now what's next? Well, we'll do the manual data collection and the experiment conduction once more then I think we'll do a flyover course adjustment and a data transmission that puts us in a really good place confirm all right, manual data collection is good. Experiments went really well. An extra data for that, good. 
flyover course adjustment went well, and our data transmission went through. Good. So we have we have what we need for data and comms. We what we need now is nav. So if we do this and do this, that gives us some nav. And then we can do a flyover course adjustment, which will take us up to completing our mission. And we can actually do a recharge as well. So this, this was pretty easy. All right, external sensor alignment, good. Flyover course adjustment, good. And we are home. All right. Now we need to perform a controlled re-entry where we need to collect a bit of everything and we have some heat to worry about. All right. So we need 14, eight and 15. We get one to three heat per turn. So we need to take care of that. So what we're gonna do is we're going to do manual data collection and then we're going to conduct experiments. That removes all the heat. Then we can do a ground control connection. And a data transmission. Confirm those commands. All right, manual data collection is good. Conducting experiments went well. And ground control connection is good. And the data transmission is good. Standing. And we got two heat. All right. Now. We obviously need to do this again. Then we can... I think doing flyover course adjustment and a ground control connection. That puts us in a really good place, I think. Oh, manual data collection did not go well. Someone fumbled. We'll assist it. Experiments were conducted professionally. Flyover course adjustment was on target. And the ground control connection was clear. Outstanding. And we get some more heat. Only one though, so that's not too bad. Now, this means that we can't use this. Which is annoying because I really want to. I really, really want to. But we can't go to negative heat. For whatever reason. So what are we going to do instead? Well, we're going to do the manual data collection. And then we'll do flight path control. Then we can do a flyover course adjustment. And ground control connection. That puts us where we want to be with both the navigation and the comms. We just need some data and we have still have three turns remaining. So this is a walk in the park, I think. Nice. There's some of the data that we needed. I'll assist that. And ground control connection is good. Outstanding. We are well on our way home. Now, now we can do the conducting experiments and that actually puts us on target. So we can simply recharge our batteries three time and we'll get our 50% bonus award. Ooh, well, we'll resist that. And there we are. No problem with the heat, and we are 
Home. Fantastic. Splashing down. Clock. And let's get some boats out there to get our three brave astronauts. Good, 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 good. All right, 1,688 uh, support, that's very nice. And 834 uh, science for four months. And we got the comp composite casing. So that is really cool. They need to recuperate for six months. And we have a new mission slot available. Hmm. Solar wind monitoring, we need to do some training. That'll be science. Ooh. The reliability here is horrible. Let's do launch reliability, actually. I think. Uh, launch date. July. And we'll go there. Confirm mission. Three months. Three months. Uh, Galant is done in four months, which is our uh, orbital EVA. Long flight yields valuable resorts, results. Agency scientists have reported that your long-duration flight mission delivered vital data on the effects of prolonged exposure to microgravity and solar radiation, which will enable the agency to better mitigate these hazards in the future, in future missions. Your astronauts who were in good health upon their return to Earth have also made numerous suggestions for improvements. Eating the freeze-dried protein bites was the hardest part of the mission, astronaut Cole Cabone joked in an interview. Gained 300 science. Not bad. Mariner 8 is almost done. Um, let's... What's going on over here? Is someone doing this? Yes, the Venus orbit is being done. Is anyone doing Mercury? No. China has the science, but it's not planned. Next month. Mariner 8 research complete. A robotic probe designed to orbit another planet and capture high-resolution images and atmospheric data. So, we can now do new research, and we're going to research crude moon landing. Mm, for that, we will need the Saturns. But that's okay. Um... Now we do have the mission slot available here, so let's head over to Mercury, and we'll start planning this um, this mission, and hopefully get a first here as well. We'll definitely take the extra power here, extra cost be damned, and build that payload. We'll be done in four months. All right, next month. Aeronautics Research Lab is complete. Minus 20% cost on vehicles research free. That is nice. That is very, very nice. Solar wind monitoring. Ready for launch. Okay. Payload reliability is just horrible. Uh, we have good conditions, it looks like. Tiny Nerd is going up. In July 1967. And 6% risk of catastrophic failure. Let's hope that we can do better than when we lost Dinky Bernard, because that was the same conditions. And she... Went up in a fireball. But Tiny Nerd here has what it takes and gets to space. Ooh, nice. Plus one turn on first task in mission. I like it. I like it a lot. And Emerald and Topaz are now level 5. 
All right. Let's see. What do we need? We need four and four for a 50% bonus. All right. We'll, we'll do that. We'll do that. That's off to a start. 55% of chance of failing. Ooh, have we got a crit? Uh, uh, crit critical success for the visual data. Nice. Accept. And almost a critical success again, but not quite. But it was, went off without a hitch. So this is a good start. This is a very good start. All right, so now we can do ground control connection and some atmospheric sampling confirm that ground control connection is good Ooh, and perfect focus four we got there so that is actually home now we just need to do a signal return test and we get our 50 percent bonus award and we can even recharge some power Outstanding. And that's a critical success again. Wow. That mission went well. It's not the most lucrative one, but every little bit helps. 402 for two months is good. 225 support. All right. I just got an achievement. Is it meant to make that noise? I don't know what that means. Um, all right, so Earth Orbital EVA, they're launching in two months. Galant is complete in one, but our crew needs to recuperate for three months. So we, we might actually hire some more crew. I just might do that to be able to beat them. I just might do that. Let's see. Orbital EVA vehicle complete. Plus 10% launch reliability. Nice My mission training reduced by minus 50% per month. Okay, look at that launch reliability. 99%. So yeah. Um, we're going to hire some more crew. We have a comm specialist. We start each task with plus one comms. Then we have a celebrity, which gives us more support, plus 10% support. So let's get the comm specialist and let's get one of the celebrities. Uh, 1981, 1997. All right, we'll get you. And I think we might get an athlete, actually. This guy. Yeah. And these three are going up. Training is definitely science because we are super reliable everywhere and we will going be going in the suboptimal launch window because we want to match the the soviets so uh, we're, we're doing that i i'm not letting them win confirm mission and let's continue on to the next month actually we are pretty much out of time so let's do that in the next episode guys i'll leave you on a cliffhanger see if we can win the race for the orbital eva as well that would be wonderful uh, we have an, a mission slot that we can do as well uh, so we need to find a mission that we want to do uh, not sure which one that'll be we don't have any requests here uh, we don't have anything that we can do for um, 
uh, milestones here. We can't do the Venus orbit. The Mercury orbit we are already doing. So I guess it'll be a request mission. Um, I suppose we could do the heat shield analysis. Uh, it's a diplomatic mission. This mission will co be conducted in partnership with China, who will contrib contribute 46% towards all mission costs. Successfully completing the mission will improve your reputation with China. Mm. Now where, where do I see our uh, reputation with the other agencies how do i see the my reputation with the other episode uh, there diplomacy of course uh so china really don't like us do they <laughs> mm. nasa likes us fine soviets are okay japanese are not really that happy about us I don't think I don't care about China. We'll do the solar observatory with the experimental fuel. Uh, we'll do the extra power and build that payload. All right, and now we are calling it for this episode, guys. Join me in the next one to see if we are able to launch our. Uh, orbital EVA rocket in a suboptimal launch window to beat the Russians or the Soviet Union. But anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.